Hello, my viewers. Welcome back to another episode with the professor with a bow tie. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button to expand your knowledge and also hit the like button if you like this video. Today I have a special episode for you. If you want to master a language to its fullest, you have to go deep and learn the culture and the history of the country of which the language you want to learn. Also would like to stress that from now on I will make more episodes about modern Greek history due to the completion of 200 years since the Greek Revolution of 1821. In today's episode I will draw a general outline of the historical events that led to the liberation of Ioannina on 21st of February in 1913, a city located in western Greece. Beginning from the queue of Neo-Turks who wanted to install a constitutional governance in Turkey, as they presented themselves as progressive and liberals, they called elections in 1908 and a parliament was formed but not many members of parliament uh, were elected from the christian minorities at the same time a gap had been created between venizelos and king george concerning the unification of greece and the island of crete but beyond these internal disturbances greece decided to ally with serbia and bulgaria to fight turkey The cause for the war was given by Turks in 1912, who decided to make administrative reforms in Skodra, Monastiri, Thessaloniki and Ioannina, handing over almost the entire administration to Albanians. Serbs and Bulgarians who had interests in these areas were preparing for war. Bulgaria gathered an army to conduct military exercises. Near Turks demanded the immediate disbandment of the assembled army. But Greeks and Serbs also gathered army under the guise of military exercises. Turkey called for general mobilization of its population and the war was near. Bulgaria and Serbia poured oil on the fire with an ultimatum demanding administrative reforms. Greece also agreed with this. Some of the demands were the proportional representation of each ethnicity in the Ottoman parliament, the appointment of Christians to all public offices in the provinces where Christians lived, ratification of the national autonomy of the ethnic groups of the empire, recognition of the Christian schools as equal to the Ottoman ones, And Turkey do not try to change the ethnological character of the provinces of the empire by colonizing Muslim populations. The ultimatum was considered by the Turkish government as an interference in the internal affairs of the empire. So the allies, Greece, Serbia, Bulgaria and Montenegro declared war on Turkey. In September 1912, the First Balkan War began. But the alliance was not authentic because each country had its own interests that clashed with each other and caused tensions in their relations. The only common goal of Serbia and Bulgaria was the overthrow and distribution of the Turkish state. Greece wanted to liberate Macedonia and Epirus from the Turks, but Serbia and Bulgaria also wanted to conquer Macedonia, but the Greek army was ready and moved quickly conquering Macedonia, when the army of Bulgaria, which gave the impression that it would be the new great force of the region, was busy with its conquests in Thrace, dreaming that it could reach as far as Istanbul. So after the occupation of Thessaloniki by the Greek army, Ioannina was next. The Turks had created forts on the hills of Ioannina 
and specifically in Gardiki, in the plateau of Duruti, in my village Castrica, and on the hill of Bizani, which was the key position for the occupation of Ioannina. The fortification of Bizani was carried out in an exceptional way by Germans who were in the service of Turkey. Attempts by the Greek general Sabuzakis to take over the position failed because the winter was heavy and the army was not enough. When the successor Constantinos arrived reinforcing the army corps, the occupation of the city was a matter of time. The governor of Ioannina, Esat Pasas, would hand over the city. So, thank you for watching. If this content had some value for you, hit the subscribe button and also the like button. See you in the next one.